buy a 3DS in 2024. 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 Oh, yeah. Buy a 3DS in 2024. Hey, what's up, dudes? Um, got a little video for you here. Just a little, little funny video, you know? No, nah, I'm just kidding. Anyways, so in today's video, I want to talk about the 3DS. It's one of my favorite consoles of all time, my favorite existing console. It is genuinely one of the best things. It's got some of the most iconic games. It's got the like a gigantic, huge library that was supported for I don't know how long. It's, I gotta look now. This, this is a very unscripted video, just to let you know. Very, uh, very unscripted. But, uh, so the 3DS released in 2011, and then the original... Nintendo DS was released in 2004. So the Nintendo DS is now almost 20 years old. It was, it came out after I was born, which was like a month before. So this thing came out like almost a month, almost exactly a month after I was born. So growing up, I had, I was always behind a generation of consoles, which was the D I had the DS, then the 3DS came out, and I didn't have that until the 2DS came out. <laughs> and then after the 2DS came out, I had that. This is my modified uh, Nintendo 2DS XL. The it's I think it's the Japanese edition. So actually, it's called like LS or something, and it's and where it's from. So this thing has one of my favorite games on it. Uh, man, I wish you could see it, but it has Adventure Time, Why'd You Steal Our Garbage, which is probably one of my all-time favorite games. I've had it for about three years now, so that's, that's, and it's got the most play time. Uh, I delete a lot of saves on games and then just replay them because that's just what I like to do. So actually today I just bought, so I had this and then I think around the same time this was released, which is the... 3DS XL, the new 3DS XL, which is pretty much better than this in every conceivable way. This thing is poopy compared to this thing. It's got better speakers. Uh, in my opinion, the screen looks a lot sharper. Uh, it's just my, that's just the way I see it. I don't know why. This one was pre-modified too. So I didn't actually modify this. I bought this from a guy today. When you mod your 3DS or when you actually, well, we'll go with when you buy your 3DS, you're going to have just basically nothing. You're going to basically only, you're basically going to go off only the games you buy and you're going to stick in there. And, or like you go to the store on here whenever it was still active, the eShop. What this basically has is the H shop, which I have not tested yet. But apparently I think if you connect your DS to the internet, you can go on there and download some cool stuff. I'm on the Super Nintendo emulator right now. And one of my favorite things about this is, is you can play Super Nintendo ROMs uh, from RetroArch, which is really cool. So one of my favorite things to do is play Super Mario All-Stars. That's one of my all-time favorite collection of games ever made. And I'm playing off the SNES 9X 2005 Core, which is, it's, it, it runs the best out of all the other ones. The 2010 has so many issues with like other devices besides the PC that I, what I'm on now. So yeah, it's pretty nice. So again, it, it, it always varies with this stuff. So like if I go into like input here, it's so much easier. So I'm going to go back to actually to the, uh, fast forwarding thing. So on the DS, the three DS, um, fast forwarding is a lot more difficult. Uh, it doesn't really necessarily work fairly well. So again, the best part about having PC emulation is I can just easily configure it. So I'm actually going to do that right now. So all I have to do is go into input, customize hotkeys, look for fast forward. And I don't know if this is the hell that one's toggled. So, um, we'll do G as the, uh, fast forward. So boom, it fast forwards. Look at how fast that is. And then I can just do that. So yeah, this is necessarily the best way to play this game. Honestly, uh, even over playing it on the original hardware, <laughs> it's like real. It, it there's so much more customization to be had, and of course, with this game in, in particular, the ROM hack scene is insane. On the go emulation 2024, great emulation 2024. Got a little out of hand there. Sorry about that. Uh, 
don't really know where to go with this now. Buy one of these in 2024 before you can in the future. And they're all marked up and scalpers start, not even just scalpers, just people to start feeling, oh, hey, this is worth over a thousand dollars now because it's only 10 years old and people can't get their hands on them as easily like the Game Boy Advance or the Game Boy Color or Super Nintendo. Have a good one.